It is basically 5.30 in the morning on August 11th. I honestly have no clue what I'm still doing awake. Maybe I should just pull an all-nighter. I don't know. But yeah, just sitting here recording on my phone. I got nothing else to do because I can't sleep. I don't know why I can't sleep, but eh, go figure. That's what happens before school time. You get so excited, and then uh, next thing you know, your thoughts overrule your mind, and then you uh, can't sleep because you can't stop thinking about things. I know that's what happens with me. But um, anyways, um, I'm thinking about wanting to just uh, pull an old maid or something and just not go to sleep because it's already past that point. I just got stuck watching old YouTube videos from my old channel. <laughs> so maybe... Maybe sometime I'll start uploading those to the new one, I don't know. But yeah, can't sleep, so that'll be fun to, uh, that'll be fun to deal with. I actually had thoughts of wanting to redo this quick vlog intro once again. I know it's just like a few vlogs in, like started at quick vlog 3 and then now it's like quick vlog 9 and I already want to change it, but I'm going to try a couple of different things before I actually figure out something. In the meantime, I'll just continue to use the one I have. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of the one I have because I kind of want to change the quick vlog theme a minor bit because I'm starting to wanting to slowly transition away from the show card gothic theme. I mean, not to try and copy Mike Jevons or anything with his use of the show card gothic theme, but I just, I don't know. I mean, it looks cool, but I feel like I want to change it. So, I don't know, maybe someday I'll figure that out if I'm going to actually find a different font. And, um, well, I don't know, but, uh, oh, look. Hello, Mr. Bug, you just happened to crawl on me. Die. Yeah, look at that. Stupid bug. Get off me. God, now I feel dirty. I feel like now i got to take a bath or a shower. That was disgusting. Well, that's our house for you. Bugs get in it all the time. It's not like we don't find spiders and moths and flies and all sorts of other nests inside our house. Besides the dogs. <laughs> well, whatever. But yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. I've just been sitting here with the phone flashlight crammed in my eyes. Not good for them at 5 in the morning, but <laughs> I ain't got anything else better to do. So, yeah, this will be fun to deal with <laughs> when I actually realize when I'm awake. I don't know. <laughs> I should quit talking in front of the camera. I'm looking weird. But that's what vlogs are for, so, oh, whatever. Uh, well, I need to figure out what I'm going to do for some future videos. I was going to want to make some videos um, and actually upload them um, at my grandma's house, but I don't know what. I got planned to do this Tuesday, which is upcoming, which still feels like tomorrow, but yeah, whatever. My mind goes off into other directions. You might be able to take a look throughout that window that's heavily covered in really old duct tape residue. That It is almost like ready to poke out the sunlight or whatever. So uh, yeah, that'll be fun. I actually want to show you guys something, but I can't because that window to my right is actually blocked by a uh, wood pallet. So that's why so I'll have to wait until a few more hours until I can show you guys and tell you guys what's going on. But you know, it's almost uh, sunrise. At least the sun's rising anyway. Well, there's a little bit of a better view of it. The street lamp's still on, which is a bit really not that necessary here in Goldendale, Washington. Yeah, it's a bit drab right now. That's because it's been raining for the past couple days. And, um, yeah, it's just been really miserable. I mean, it's good not to have the summer heat or anything, but, yeah. Very drab. Very, very drab. Sucks, too. Well, I guess I should also let you all in on a new addition to the collection of electronics. 
Well, this has obviously not been filmed, but I'm hoping to do that maybe today. I don't know. Depends on when I feel like it. But this is the new edition right here in this very nice black leather case. Now, as you all might have known from that video that I made previously to this, and excuse the mess, I had bought an iPad 2 off eBay that had an iCloud lock on it. And as a matter of fact, that iPad is still locked and I have not been able to contact the original owner or the eBay seller to try and get more support. So I'm gonna have to call Apple on that. Thankfully, it wasn't a uh, remotely raced iPad. So maybe the support representatives will be able to help me out on that. I'm hoping. Anyways, uh, this one right here is a unique edition. This is an iPad 4, another one. But this isn't a 64 gig. This is actually a 128 gigabyte model. One of the very unique ones. And um, this thing, I actually bought the case for that iPad 2, thinking that I was actually going to use it with it, but that ended up not being the uh, case, no pun intended. Flap out here so I can actually give you guys a look at it. Oh man. Holy hell, that thing's hard to get out of the case. And it's a bit dirty too. Need to clean it. So yeah, you can see all my smudges on the front of the screen. But yep, there it is. No scratches, no dents, no nothing wrong with this. That I hope that's not a scratch mark right there. That would suck if it was. I think that's just the wear mark. I think that'll come off with a bit of a, a little bit of attention. But yep, yeah. iPad 4, 128 gigabyte in landscape orientation for some annoying reason. It's running the uh, iOS 9 public beta 3 already. Uh, you can probably tell by the uh, use of the wallpaper here and the app switcher but it is indeed a 128 gig iPad as you can clearly see so it's a very nice thing I don't recall many videos of mine being made with an iPad 4 I know that there were a bit made with an iPad mini 3 but that's no longer here that's why I changed the banner because I no longer have an iPad mini 3 I got rid of it for the sole purpose that the performance wasn't up to my particular standards. I mean, the A6X in this thing, obviously, it has the pretty much the exact same performance level, if not a slight bit lower than the A7 and the Mini 3, but the Mini 3 had a bit of weird graphical lag issues that were really strange. Like, if you opened up Facebook on it, it would, like, before the animation would finish, it would graphically stutter, and I thought that was kind of weird. On this, it's completely perfect, even though it's older. So I don't get what the deal is with that and why it the Mini 3 lagged like it did, but oh, whatever. But yeah, I kind of missed having the 9.7-inch uh, iPads to begin with, so that's why I primarily got the iPad 2. And then this thing ended up coming in. But, yep, it's a very nice iPad. I intend to keep this one for uh, a while longer than the one I had previous to the Mini 3, which was again an iPad 4, but it was a 64 gig. You know, this would be a good time to make some coffee, but I'm too lazy to go up and fire up the Keurig, and it makes too much noise. Ugh, man. I need the coffee, man. I really do. Give me some coffee, now. Please don't ask about these blood marks on my forehead. That was a shaving thing. So, yeah, please don't ask. You know what? Let's get some music playing. I don't actually have an Apple Music thing started yet. I haven't decided to. Apparently the iPad is offline. It makes no sense. But I haven't started an Apple Music three-month trial. Maybe at some point I will. But maybe again I won't. I don't feel like I'm ready to actually try Apple Music because even though I think the service is cool, I don't feel ready yet. I mean, I don't personally like to listen to internet radio 
internet songs, like anything with music over the internet that streams because for one we have that limited internet data cap that kind of sucks, which by the way we've upgraded our data to 50 gigs anytime and 50 gigs bonus bytes, which also means that our download speeds and upload speeds got improved to 15 megabytes down and 2 megabytes up, so YouTube videos actually upload a slight bit faster, which is quite nice. But, um, let's see, what do I want to play in terms of a song? I think I'll play this Papa Roach song here. Crap, turn it down. Oops. I personally think this thing's speakers sound a lot better than what the Mini 3's dual speakers sounded like. That's my personal preference, really. This song was all over the radio last weekend, and I just had to buy it. I mean, come on. I'm an impulse buyer. But then again, I do like the song. But I haven't seen the movie yet, so I should actually quit this from playing, because I'm going to get a nice copyright strike. But I haven't seen the movie yet, but I like the song, so... I don't know, I haven't actually watched the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. Maybe I'll borrow it from my mom, because we got it from Netflix last night. Well, I actually bought it, but it was not with my credit card, so... Because I don't have one. But, um, yeah. Suddenly... How the heck are you guys? Well, ironically, I've just now woken up at 1.30 in the afternoon. Fantastic. Well, my mom's at work, so at least I got the house to myself, so I guess that's another good thing. So I guess for today's coffee camera, which I need to use up, we got cinnamon vanilla cream. And I also need to refill my sugar thingamabobber when I need to find myself not being lazy. To actually refill the thing. But I'll just use whatever's left in it, basically. And, uh, I don't have time to put the cream on this thing. It almost looks like a galaxy inside there. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. Never mind that. Done. Now I've got to survive through this cup of coffee until I can go to the store and get me some new, new coffee creamer. Usually my personal favorite would be the York Peppermint Patty one. I quite like that one. But uh... Elfie? Yes, he follows everyone that he likes to follow. He's just a weird dog like that. Also, don't ask about that pink curtain. Because I actually use that as a privacy shield. And that's its actual purpose. It's not designed to be a pink blanket anymore. Because, honestly, we don't have no girls living in this house anymore at this current moment in time. No, no, honey, I'm good. I can have another, but I probably should not. I got somebody at home. Yes, got to crank up my iTunes, got to have something to listen to while I'm bored. I don't know.
The song has some crazy bass to it, I'll tell you that much. At least on the sound system it does, I don't know why. Well, it's not that crazy, but still. Actually, now I've got to uh, check make sure I ain't got anything on the uh, YouTube notifications. I don't think I do. But anyway. <laughs> what? He <laughs> put Weird Al Yankovic on the freaking thumbnail. That's funny. Uh, oh, man. It's interesting that he put that in there, but anyway. You know, I just got to thinking, because I used to be a really big user of the AVS video editor software. I wonder how much it's improved ever since the last time I've used it back in 2012. Now, the last time I actually used AVS video editor was way back on my old YouTube channel. So if I change the URL up here. And then I'm going to put the prefix forward slash videos on the end of it. Oh, interesting. I guess they don't like that prefix on the end of it. Because I know the channel exists, obviously. Oh, YouTube's just being fucktards with me today, I guess. Hang on, let me pull it up. See? I told you. YouTube's just being fucktards with me today, I guess. But if we go into the old videos... And we take a little giz in the search box for AVS. Then uh, we will actually see I used to be a user of AVS Video Editor three years ago. So yeah, there you go. But I've thought about wanting to give it a shot once again. Now, it's not that I don't like Movie Maker 2012 that Microsoft hasn't updated in so dang long. But I just thought that I'd like to try out this uh, once again, simply because, well, it's not because of the video compatibility formats, but it's just the fact I want to give it another try. I want to see what it's like after, like, three years of passing it up and forwarding to Windows Movie Maker. So, I guess I'll give it a shot. Now, I'm running Windows 10 on this desktop computer. It's actually Windows 10 Pro. So, um, I'm going to have to uh, see how Windows 8 compatible this actually is. Which, ironically, they used the wrong type of Windows 8 compatible icon. I mean, it gets the job done, but uh, I don't know what they're thinking. Anyways, you're down here downloading the software right now. Which should be done in less than a minute, like Chrome is saying. So that's good. Ironically, my microphone, for those wondering, does not work with Cortana properly. So, I don't know why, but if I come up here to the microphone, what's the current temperature? It just, it just doesn't work. My microphone's right there on the webcam, for God's sakes, and I've installed the driver. It just doesn't work. So... I think I might need a new webcam because this one does not like Windows 10 in the slightest. I mean, it'll work with Windows 8 and below, all the way back down to XP, but it doesn't like Windows 10, which is a bit of a shame. But, oh well, life goes on, I guess. Anyway. It's time to install. Come on, solid state drive. You can go faster than that. <laughs> there we go. Silly thing. Man, this is like nostalgia for me. Install the sample project. No thank you, that's going to waste space. I know that UXW Bill actually uses this software now instead of using uh, iMovie. As far as I'm aware, he does. I don't know... Um, more specifically, but I don't know, but yeah, I guess I'll give it one more shot just to see if I like it. I don't remember if they make you purchase it to remove the watermark in the middle of the video, but I don't know. I guess I'll have to find out and see.
I think these non-paid versions make you uh, deal with the watermark in the middle of the video if you don't pay for it. So, yeah. Just like I remember it being, yep, there is an AVS for you logo in the output video. Now, I hope it's not like directly smack in the middle of the video like they used to do it before. I hope it's like, I wish that it was actually down in like the lower right uh, corner of the video. So, I don't know. Whatever. Start project. I don't really have any video footage to work with at the current moment, but uh, we'll see if this thing's got enough horsepower to capture the screen. I did not know that this video editor actually had that function until now. I guess I haven't been using it for long enough. We'll just try a... Mm, I don't really want to save it on that. Start to stop capture, press shift control S or click the AVS screen capture icon in the system tray. Okay, so this is a test of the AVS. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, see how this came out. Okay, so this is a test of the AVS audio clear. editor. Um, let's open a program here. Yeah. Oops. I accidentally stopped the camera there, but oh man, very, very pixelated in this preview here. I don't know if it's just being downscaled or what, but that does not look very clear at all. That looks very, very blurry. <laughs> oh dear, this might not be good. Oh, whoa, I just tried to press the produce button and the screen went blank. I don't know, okay. We're going to out output this to a file. We're going to do MP4. Um, let's not do it with an iPod. I just want the PC MPEG codec. Now the bloody Cortana works. What the hell? <laughs> okay, then. Cortana sitting here snooping in on me. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, I want to do 1280 by 720. Uh, sure, 24 frames a second because I think that's what the video was at. Seemed like it anyway. Final actions. I don't know. I'm going to save that to the desktop. And then... We're going to just call it AVS test in all caps because why not? And create. Warning, you're using a non activated version of AVS video editor. The watermark banner will be placed in the center of the. Oh, in the center of the output file. Yes, just do it. Just do it. I'm just curious to see how this came out. I'm not really worried about that watermark in the center of the video. I just want to see if it actually did come out pixelated or not. I do like how it does a CyberLink PowerDirector trick, and it actually shows you the output of the file in brief skips as it's processing it. That's a nice feature, I suppose. But now, this is the main taken too terribly long. This is indeed a Pentium Dual Core E2220 from the Windows Vista era with an aftermarket graphics card in it. It's an ATI Radeon HD 3450. So, not exactly the world's fastest video editing rig in the world, but it could probably get the job done. Okay, let's see how it came out. Or do I have to play this in the... Uh... Okay, so this is a test of the AVS Okay, that's not working. Editor. Came out black on the Movies and TV app, which never works. On this machine, it never works properly, so I have to use Windows Media Player for everything. Okay, so this is a test of the AVS 
Uh, me and my stop button on this damn camera. Anyway, looks like it's actually going to come out fine, except for that stupid watermark in the middle of the screen. But again, I'm not so keen on buying the software right now, because honest to God, I'm like stuck with Windows Movie Maker. But their unlimited access subscriptions are actually a lot lower in price. No, Cortana, don't activate right now. Don't, don't, don't. Ugh. Duh, that thing's trippy. But it also seems as if, uh... Prices are actually not too bad. August only. I would like to get an unlimited access subscription because then, uh... I could download any software I want and then I don't have to deal with stupid access subscription requirements that will leave watermarks or stupid distortions and blah 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 inside of uh, the software. So yeah, might give it a shot, who knows. Now I'm recording with the iPad. As you can see, this case... Why do I need this stupid freaking flap? I just... I don't really like it to be honest because if I do it like this then it closes up the camera so yeah I need a new case but in the meantime this will work anyways it's time to make me just a quick little snacky knacky here get some Dave's killer bread here and some Reese's peanut butter chocolate spread this stuff's to die for well I mean I could have some peanut butter but it's chunky peanut butter. Not particularly my favorite. I mean, I can eat chunky peanut butter, but I don't know. Just this is not my favorite. I'm so used to creamy peanut butter that it's just hard to go back. So I gotta seal that back up real quick. So I've seen that a lot of people have been gaining interest in my Facebook page once again, even though I've hidden it. I see this occasional like and a bunch of page views and things. So I've been considering bringing it back. But I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually going to do that. I think I am. But I'm going to bring up a TBH here. I'm not a Facebook person, to be honest with you. I'm not a big Facebook person at all. And I like the platform. I mean, it's a great platform for communicating with people and trying to bring out information. I mean, it's, a, it's always a good thing to bring information forward, but to be honest, I don't like Facebook because it's not that it's not a great platform, but I just don't like it in general. I mean, I hate using Facebook because then everybody tries to look at your page and everything and ugh. I'm considering bringing it back, but don't expect anything like in amazing in particular if it is if it is going to come back but we'll see we'll see because i mean i'd like to be able to communicate with you all but i just don't like facebook i might do tumblr but i don't know if i want to do that i might leave the tumblr thing for the q a videos or maybe i'll just leave the q a videos in the comments sections of a youtube video whatever works i mean it's up to people we'll see what happens Ooh, that toast smells good. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the air conditioner is very loud, if you hadn't noticed. Yeah, I gotta get me a paper plate. Like that kind. And now I can uh, eventually take my toast out and spread some Reese's spread on it. And with the help of the white balance, we're done. So I've got a the lid back on this, which should be using two hands, but eh, I can do it. Maybe. And usually I like to combine it to make like a tiny little sandwich, but I mean in like toast today, just because I like that kind. I need to fix the focus point there. There we go. Ah, ah, gotta grab my laptop. Suddenly, me going down to the store for an almost midnight soda run. I figured I'd finish up the vlog with one of these. I actually just got done with the the vlog video for the 
Good Idea Videos channel that my friend and I run. I just got done with the vlog for that. So now I'm just uh, awaiting 2 a.m. to come so that I can actually upload the video. And that'll be awesome. Now I just gotta edit this one. And uh, that'll be fun. But I'm a bit run down at this point in time, and holy hell, there's headlights coming. <laughs> Ironically, it was the sheriff. But anyway. So, time to head down to the store. Get me a soda. Well, actually, I'm gonna head to the Les Schwab's. I got a dollar bill. Might as well uh, use myself with the actual new bottle soda. Alrighty, so here I am down here at the local Les Schwab's. There's the familiar Pepsi machine with the bottle on it. Ironically, it's less lit this time around. And ironically, that source sign way down there is surprisingly blank. Anyways, that's irrelevant. So let's see what they've made on old Rusty here. And they actually put the door back on. <laughs> How interesting. Well, I guess whatever was left of that sign there must have been 8,000 gross pounds or 4 gross tons and they put the badge back on it looks like I don't think that was there originally well yeah they're making progress with the restoration of this truck because that wheel has been replaced there how about this one on the back yep they replaced that one so they're making progress I don't know how much but they're making progress and yes, in case you're wondering, I didn't get talked to by the police officer because it's not the curfew time yet. The curfew time is at midnight, and it's not midnight yet, so that's why. Uh, let's do regular Mountain Dew. I don't know why they always pop up vertic vert yeah, vertically, whatever. But yeah, as I was saying, they don't enforce the curfew around here for anybody under 18 until it's midnight, as far as I'm aware. Haven't read the curfew laws in a while, so I gotta make sure of that, but eh, I haven't gotten caught yet, so even the sheriff didn't stop me. I mean, yeah, I did point the camera at him, but I didn't do anything that would have offended his rights or my rights, so I mean, I'm fine. He's fine. I didn't hurt him. He didn't hurt me. So what is there to be stopped about other than the curfew? But uh, I think it'll be just fine. Because like I mentioned, the curfew doesn't start until midnight, and it's not midnight yet, so they can't do a thing about it. I'm just out for a soda. So Actually, that's kind of neat how the, uh, the light on the phone actually makes the soda turn like a piss yellow or something. I guess that's how you want to call it. I don't know. It's the way they make the colors on the sodas. I don't know. But anyways, I'm just about home. So talk to you guys when I get there, I guess. I don't know. Alrighty, it's time for the last clip of the vlog before I wrap it up and actually call it a night. It's about 3 in the morning. And uh, I'm promoting a very good sleep ha uh, sleeping habit. So, this channel right here, my friend and I run. And uh, I just got the new vlog for that uploaded. I actually should update the time on that just to make sure that it's all correct 19 minutes ago. And ironically, two people have already viewed it, even though we only have four subscribers, so that's interesting. But anyway, um, yeah, I got that done. I already got the thumbnail done. I did that all just after 2 a.m. And uh, I have a notification. This is rather interesting. Oh, holy crap, you already got a comment on it? That's unbelievable. Well, there we go. Huh. Well, cool. Cool. As for this vlog, we're just about done. I have a holy whopping almost 34 minutes. So, yeah. I'm going to make this even longer, like 35 minutes. <laughs> but, hey, that's the nature of these vlogs. They're never going to end. But, um, yeah. It came along together quite nicely, so I'm very glad that I got this all dealt with, and uh, yeah. So I guess I'll go ahead and I'll wrap it up now, so thank you guys for watching my vlog. If you enjoyed it, please drop a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed, and uh, 
I'll see you guys later. Oh, look, smudge. Ah, fix that.